dear students of standard 10th first i hold my very hearty good morning to all of you and wish you a very happy and prosperous life children you have already passed your previous examination of western 9th and now you are the students of western 10th and you all are supposed to appear in cbse board exams in the year 1921 children in this regard i i would like to make you intimate how so far you have been in practice of taking your exams under the guidance and in vigilation of your familiar teachers of the school but as you all are to appear in cbse board exams there you will experience almost a new sensational feeling where you will take your exams under the guidance under the instructions under the invigilation of some unfamiliar teachers of that particular school so teacher so students first i would like to tell you that english language is a very easy language in which we can comfortably obtain good marks in board exams but for that purposes we must be very much curious we must have a good setting of the design and the contribution of marks of the question paper in our mind children our question paper is subdivided under three heads under three sections first section a is there which is a reading section and this reading section consists of two passages two comprehensive passages all carrying 20 marks the first passage is a factual passage consisting of 300 to 350 words and it witnesses eight very short answer type questions each carrying one mark it means the first question rewards us eight marks now we have the second passage this passage consists of 350 to 400 words and two questions are inquired from this passage the second passage the first four questions are short answer type of questions carrying one mark and the second question consists of four mcq questions multiple choice questions and all together these two questions of the second passage consists of 
12 marks it provides us 12 marks and thus all together reading section carries 20 marks in total now we have section b section b includes writing and grammar portion in section b question number 3 appears in form of a formal letter the formal letter is commercial letter impersonal letter professional letter business letter and not personal letters it is not a letter to our relatives our parents our brother or kin people this question that is question number 3 holds 8 marks now we proceed to question number 4 question number 4 is a story writing on the given outline or clues in the question paper and it carries 10 marks now we have question number 5 actually question number 5 6 and 7 these three questions are from grammar portion each carrying 4 marks Question number 5 is a gap filling question carrying 4 marks. Question number 5 is as I told you a gap filling question and it carries 4 marks. Now we have question number 6. It is the problem solving question of editing group either some may, errors may be there in the passage and we are supposed to find out the error and write the correction word instead of that wrong word or some omission word may be there we have to put slash in place where you think the word to be omitted and you have to write the correct word that should be placed there. This question also carries four marks. Then we have question number seven. And question number seven encounters with sentence reordering. There might be jumble words and you people will be asked to write those jumble words, arrange those jumble words in such a way that it could get the form of a sentence and provide us good meaning. This question also carries four marks. And thus, we can say how section B carries altogether 30 marks. Now, children, we proceed towards section C. Section C witnesses literature section where once again we have four questions. Question number 8, 9, 10 and 11. These four questions are from literature section. Question number 8 is an extract. Two extracts might be there and you are supposed to write answers of any one of the extracts 
which may be from prose, poetry or drama section of your books. It carries four marks. Then we have question number nine. Question number nine contains four short type questions, short answer type questions and it once again carries eight marks. Then we have question number 10. It is a long answer type question. Two questions will be there and they will be optional. Out of two questions, you have to write only one question and it carries eight marks. And finally, we encounter the last question that is question number 11. This question is also an optional question to be written in 200 to 250 words and it carries 10 marks. Thus, in submission, we notice how our question paper carries 80 marks in total. Now, some question may be asked, some question may be rising in the mind of some students, what about 20 marks? Whether the question, whether the examination of English will be given only with 80 marks? <laughs> no children. Actually, you will be granted 20 marks at your school level. That is known as internal assessment. Your internal assessment is taken at your school level. Two PTS exams. PTS is periodic tests with weightage of 10 marks are organized at your school level and out of those two PTS, PTS once again I would like to intimate you that is periodic tests that is taken at your school level both carrying 10 marks and the weightage of that 10 marks in each PTS is on the basis of the notebook that you prepare and next five marks is on your knowledge of subject enrichment. And thus, this internal assessment carrying 20 marks is added in the 80 marks of the question paper and thus we get total 100 marks. Children, at the end, I am very much hopeful and I would advise you, advise you also that you should keep the concrete ideas about your question paper and the distribution of marks in your mind so that you could prepare all accordingly to it and be in a position to obtain good marks in your CBSE board exams. Thank you children. In our next meeting, I will appear with some topic and try my level best to make it empathic, to make it useful for all of you. Thank you children. Thank you.